installing the Sleestaz Linux. It's a very small Linux, 29 megabytes. I'm going to the website to download it. Uh, Sleestaz.org. I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to go ahead and start the process of installing it using the wizard for uh, VirtualBox. So I type in the name Sleestaz. Sounds like Sleestack from Land of the Lost. Uh, put it on the Linux and other Linux. Now the virtual memory, the memory for it, I tried it with 128 megabytes. It didn't work. The the website says it can be installed on only 16 megabytes. I don't see it, particularly with the GUI. I tried 128 and it wouldn't install. So I bumped it up to 192 megabytes and I was able to install. Now this distribution is only 30 megabytes. It's even smaller than damn small Linux. So it's perfect for a lightweight system like mine. The size of the virtual machine, I'm, I'm only going to make it uh, 1 gig. But it can be smaller than that. Okay, so now I'll start the running process and this will ask me to find the ISO that I've already downloaded and I chose the live CD stable version rather than the current version because I want to make sure that it works. So I'm going to select the ISO that I've already downloaded, add, go to my download directory and there it is. Select next finish and we begin installing and we find out here well first we're going to boot it uh, if you want French you type FR then enter otherwise it loads in English We found out that Sleestack stack means simple, light, incredible, temporary, autonomous zone. And that shows you the use of this distribution. You can install it into a flash drive and boot from there or write it to a CD. You can use it uh, when you want to run Linux on someone else's computer without messing up with their messing with their uh, hard drive. So it's starting to boot now. The live CD is starting to boot. And unLZMing decompressing Linux. And it hung up here with the 128 megabytes. So with just 192, is running pretty good. I imagine if you install this on a 250 megabyte system, uh, old laptop or an old desktop, you'd have a pretty good fast Linux system. This is a Linux uh, 2.6.30 kernel. Okay, now I'm going to choose English from a language and select my keyboard. Uh, for some reason, they don't put English, American English, up at the top, so I got to scroll down and select it. And here we are. I'm going to choose the 1028 by 768 24 bit color.
and here's our Sleestaz desktop. Minimal desktop here on my documents folder. Uh, catching my mouse. Um, you have some folders already here. Tux images, see what this is. Asking images. Let's see what GNU is. Yep, there's a GNU. So just a little photo of asking images here. Guess what Tux is? They have our little Linux penguin there. The file manager is PC Man, a, a good lightweight, no nonsense file manager. It's not bloated and slow like Nautilus and Dolphin on the KDE. Uh, the programs I have available under games are Sudoku, Development, I have uh, the Genie IDE, uh, some programming examples here, Dialogs, uh, GTK Dialogs, um, Multimedia, I have Awesome Mixer, now Awesome Media Player, and a link to Jamido, Jamindo Music have some uh, freely available uh, mp3s graphics uh, don't have the GIMP but we have something called empty paint which is a good lightweight uh, paint sort of like Microsoft paint uh, this with 30 megabytes for the ISO is not room for a full featured imager image editor like the GIMP but this will help us with some quick and dirty uh, artwork. So let's see what else they have here. This one's a little bit sluggish because my main computer is 1.8 gigahertz and 512 megabytes of memory. Uh, have some preferences here uh, for the themes. Clear looks, that's normally what I use. Clear looks, deep sky. Olive, Raleigh, what is Raleigh? I'll keep Quicksilver here applied. Internet utilities. Uh, system tools has G parted if I need to do some uh, manipulation of my partitions. It has a s installer wizard, so it should be a simple matter to install it on your hard drive if you wanna if you actually want to do this. And again, PC file manager, and they have their own installer. amazing that you can get a, a GNOME based GUI to run so well within uh, just 192 megabytes on a virtual machine. For the internet we have a GFTP, Firefox, a uh, ghost in the email, uh, you have an IRC client. The Firefox is version 3.0 Firefox is relatively unstable. Even closing a tab will cause it to crash. So here you have a look at Sleestaz Linux, uh, an alternative for those who want a small, fast Linux running on an older system, or you wish to make a bootable flash drive and, and run Linux on uh, another computer, uh, let's say at an uh, office or whatever. That's Sleestaz.